existed outside your bubble. You get it? I just walked out of it, all out of comfort zone, but I get obsessed with the things I love. That is my weakness and my strength. So I don't give up easily. Okay. That's how my whole the my lifestyle of dancer, like as a dancer, changed and I started dancing more than just classical. Okay. And like I said, um, I mentioned about my design, International Dance uh, Academy. I did a short course. You know Shamak? Yes. yes. So there was this uh, amazing artist in Goa. He was like the Shamak of Goa. And I went and did the course there. In one week, I was his instructor. I don't even know how. The practice that I was clubbing, which came out on the dance floor there, in one week I was the instructor, instant hit, I am the core instructor with them. Okay, boom. I don't even know how, but all this happened because of the madness of I had to go clubbing just to jam. Okay, over, I'm so famous, all rich kids, you know, all that thing, classes and classes, and that's how I became more and more and more active. And by then I passed out of college and I started working as an architect very seriously, professionally, okay. But by the side evening, I used to be teaching, okay. So during that time, I met this guy who was my student. Just for fun, he's like, uh, Jack, let's just try salsa. I'm like, hey, look at me and all. And I be, oh, by the way, how did I forget? I was 69 kg. Imagine. Yes, I had gained little weight, but a lot. <laughs> okay. So, salsa go, and I could see people doing lifts and tricks as usual, and I'm on the side. Okay. But you understand what I said, salsa dancing? I was the only one who could dance, but not the lifts and tricks, because I was very scared of that. In spite of that, I was rejected. All the things were happening, no shows were coming up. Again, failure. You get it? Oh yeah, I'm like gone. I'm not ready for this. Whatever happened in college, I think that is true. Karke, my life just stopped right there. I stopped dancing for six months. Six months. Entire life I've danced, six months I stopped dancing. That's it. And then the guy with whom I was dancing came convinced only because of the faith, like not to give up, like I said, I get obsessed. I'm like, I'll do this. Then, that's when we did the championship. I started competing outside. You understand what's championship? Yeah, so you, you salsa, bachara, and you just go and compete. Next level, costumes, it's all next. So there. Now, imagine you, how many of you, like, what is your field here? Doctors? Medicals? Yeah. You go to a field where there are architects. How do you feel? You have to create a building. You're competing. It's a new world. Costumes, attitude, and I'm like this, like this. Over. Next level content spot. Anybody watches Friends? Friends. Ah, Rachel? Yes. You know when she says, rock bottom, 10 feet below, dust. I was 10 feet below that. I felt so bad because my first time championship that I ever competed was a disaster. Disaster. Clap! I never said once. Clap. Talia. So sweet. used to me. So, there I cried. I don't think I ever cried like that. You know what that means? You're there, you give up, you work hard and all that thing and you're there. Take care. And then you see these people dancing, you don't belong, it's a disaster. This is my next definition of life, okay? First say obsession, then the winning happened the next year. Okay, that's what I was coming for. The winning happened the next year. So, today is my championship, yes? Yesterday. You understand what social dancing? No. 
Anybody who is a Latin dancer here? <laughs> Kuthi dancer? Ah, nice. I saw you guys. Very nice, very nice. So, social dancing. Randomly you pick a girl, not pick. Ask a girl nicely to dance with you. The guy leads, you follow. Simple as that. So that happened, I'm like, no bro, I'm only trained to compete because I can do this routine. But if you do like on spot, I'll be like this. Anything but not the dancing. But the next day, I'm there with my chapter trophy and crying. <laughs> I did it. Trust me, all my pictures are so bad, I even put it here. Because I'm only crying on stage. Okay. Then, so say this is the dance floor, okay. I'm here, winning happened. All I did was step on the dance floor. 20 men came running to ask me for dance. I'm like, oh. <laughs> what just happened? It was so crazy. So when you compete in these styles, that time you become an instant hit. You get it. News just spreads. And that night changed. My confidence level shot up. Not giving up, being stubborn. I felt bad for nothing. Also because I quit my job for the championship. I didn't tell my dad. He's like, where is the check? There is no job for the check. I did give up everything for that one championship. I was like, what? But I won. And all that mattered was not the trophy. Did I say the first time I competed, we were like, it was disaster? Yeah. Yes. They came, all the Latin community came and said, guys, you just proved all of us wrong. That's it. That's it. That's it. It was not even the trophy that mattered anymore. That statement? Ho gaya ji. Enough. Label next level. Chant this, that, 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 that. Amazing. That was amazing. So, that's where the actual jacks that you see, all the fire fears and all that thing, that started coming out. Okay. So, next I'm going to go to my Zumba life. Who all knows Zumba? Heard of Zumba? Try Zumba. Cheta, oh, thank you. I like it. Zumba. Oh, this is old. <laughs> you would. Nobody tried. Yay! Awesome. Enough. If even two people tried, I'm very, very happy. So, um, winning happened. Again, not every success gives back too many happiness. Yes? I won. I came back to Goa home and something went wrong and everything just went wrong for me. Okay. I was in a disaster, disaster, disaster. And I'm like, I want to try something new. So this is one person in Goa who's doing Zumba. Okay, and I went and tried his class as a student. In two months, my stamina just shot up. The thing is, I do things without thinking and the results just happen. So I don't understand what's happening. Okay, so that stamina that happened, that I got clubbed with the Latin, Everything went parallel and that is how I helped myself uh, bring a new flavor, okay? Uh, how do you say? Standard of the crowd, you understand that? Standard of the crowd. It was never, I would never be happy if I'm ignored. You just go to a party, you're ignored. You just go dancing, you're ignored. Somehow that never went with me, okay? So, I clubbed the Zumba strength with my Latin strength and just take, took that as my identity to the next level and that's how the whole energy thing came in the picture, okay? Strength was my stage, dancing was my soul and the audience, they gave me the fire that I gave back. So, it just fit perfect perfect for me, okay? And this helped me in becoming the first ever Zumba jammer 
of India. So it was insane, <laughs> insane. So again, this was an obsession again. Eight months, you know what I used to do? Do you cross signals? Red. You're like, then you see the green and you're like driving fast. And then you're like, no, 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 no. I'll be like, if I cross that, I'm becoming a jammer. For eight months, I used to do that. Just to become. I was so obsessed. But then it happened, so I'm very happy. <laughs> so yeah. So Latin championships, yeah. So jammer and the championships, I would never give up on any of these things. I would do this parallelly, okay? So that's what went on and on and on and on and on. And there's one thing I realized, I'm not a trained dancer, I'm a passionate dancer. Do you understand that? Contemporary, anybody heard? You see them point? Respect, the strength, everything. Ballet? This is Michael Jackson, but please understand that. Yeah? Next level, that's all training. I'm not trained. I am passionate, okay? So I held on to my own identity to make sure I stood out of the crowd in my own way. You get it? Yeah. So that comes, do you believe in yourself? Yes. Yeah. Believe in yourself, yes or no? Yes. Do you all have confidence? Yes. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. Awesome. So, the moment doubt comes in your head, that's it. That's the end of it. And the moment you have successes like this, and you think you're the best, end of it. So you know what not to take in your head, and what to keep it in your head. Yes? Yeah. So no matter what guys, there are one thing. Success is not cons like constant. You get it? There is always someone who will run in front of you and achieve everything. Okay, so you have to be on your toe. I am never satisfied with my work. I compete at the winning. I hate watching my own videos. Trust me. I don't like it. I over criticize. And you guys will be like, oh, Jazz, God, she did this, she did that. I hate myself. It is the bitter truth. And that's what keeps me going. So next. Yay! So those are my faces no matter. Do you see? Can you see what's happening? Guru ke dekh rahe Yes? Yeah, it's a simple thing to show that. Be crazy, you stand out, believe in yourself, no matter what, you can still achieve without being the labeled person you are. She can't do this, he can't do this. Just don't do that. Do your thing. Now you know what you do or not, people will talk, yes? Yes or no? Are she didn't do? Are she did this? Yes? So you just do it, no matter what. Yes? Yes. At the same time, please don't get arrogant, overconfident, and have ego. What is it? Ego. Say ego. Ego. If anybody has ego, get out. <laughs> Simple as that, okay? Stay grounded no matter what. Fears, um, they are the ones that will make you doubt yourself. You all have cried, done things, but please be so stubborn in achieving what you want if you believe in yourself that nobody can stop you because no, no one can be you guys. You are you. If I am Jax, yes, you all have your power. No one can be you, trust me. That's enough to keep you going with what you want. It can be for creative, your jobs, anything, etc, etc. Okay, so now, again, the last thing. Never do things to impress people. You need to inspire. Did you see the presenters today? The performances by them? How was it? Mental, no? Yeah, next level mental it was. They inspire you. These people are the ones who inspire. That's because, Ra see, right now they put in the performance, that's different. But every person inspires you. So be that person who will come back and say Jax or 
whoever, because of you I'm doing this, because of you I'm doing that. That is more than enough. Okay. At the same time, if you are okay, step out of your comfort zone and be versatile. That's it. That's something I believe and I know everyone can do that. So please, if you can, take some tippy tippy points from me and try and not stop exploring. Make sense? Explore always. Always explore because there are so many, so many new things. And the final phase is yet to come. The best is yet to come because I'm still not satisfied with the work I've done. I am still exploring. I want to go compete the world championships. I am still looking for so many things to happen. It is still only the choices you make and make it positive no matter what. Yes, what is your? All it takes is a pinch of your perspective in your life. Okay. And please be crazy. Please be savage, be fearless, be you. Because no one can be. No one can be. You guys have no confidence. You, you. Obviously, guys. Obviously. So thank you so much. Thank you so much.